I'm at work. I'm here for another hour and a half. <sighs> My day is not really going how I wanted it to. I'll have to tell you guys later what happened because my mood, I'm not really in a good mood right now. I plan to vlog today, so I'm gonna continue to vlog. I'm not gonna let this situation get in my way of vlogging today because literally I don't feel like being on camera. I know I shouldn't put that energy owed to on camera, but literally this is my life and if i'm having a bad day you guys are gonna see it if i'm having a good day you guys are gonna see it so i have to be open honest and transparent with you guys so i was on my break and my break is about to be over so i have to go use the bathroom and get back on the floor And I'm really hoping this next hour and a half goes by quick because I'm ready to get out of here. I'll see you guys in the next clip. I'm gonna get um, a cheese Danish. For sure. Did you want that one up? Yeah. Could you um, make it like really hot? We could like toast it twice. Yeah. Alrighty. And then I'll get a grande iced chai latte. Um, light ice, and I'll get Cali style for the caramel drizzle. For sure. And does it come with whipped cream? Um, it doesn't, but I can definitely put it on for you. Okay, and then could you also put caramel drizzle on the whipped cream as well, please? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Anything else for you? Uh, what's the price? Uh, it comes to ten dollars. Okay, perfect. Okay. Good morning. Hi, so I have half an hour before I have to be to work. So I decided to stop at Starbucks and get a little treat. I haven't been to Starbucks in so long. So I was like, oh, I wanna start my week off good. I'm feeling okay today, so happy about that. Um, in my last clip, I was at work and I was gonna tell you guys what happened, but I really don't wanna bring negativity onto this channel. So I'm just not gonna tell you guys what happened. But I'm just hoping that this week is going to be great and I'm just excited for a fresh start. How much are those cups? Um, these ones are mystery color changing ones, so they're seven ninety five plus tax. But we have one. So they they change if it's hot or cold. If it's cold, yeah. Oh, okay. How many colors does it change? Um, I think there's either four or six. Like there's pink and purple and orange and blue. Mm -hmm. And there might be a green one, I think. Oh. I'm gonna come back when I um, download my my app for the yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. So I'll get it next time if it's still here. <laughs> I'll use debit. Yes, please. Thank you. Let me park for a second. And I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I've been off of here for 
six days. I've been off of YouTube for six days and I really missed vlogging for you guys. It's a little crooked. But I missed um, vlogging for you guys. Two clients today, but I might have three. But I might switch the third one over to tomorrow just because I think three might be too much for me today. Because I already, I have one tomorrow. So yeah, maybe I should split it up. I'll have two today and then I'll have two tomorrow. And then two Wednesday. And then Thursday is not gonna be bad, but Friday I'm gonna be there all day. So yeah, maybe I should break it up. Okay. So this is what I got. I got a grande iced chai tea latte with whipped cream, caramel drizzle, Cali style. And I've tried this so many times and um, it's really good. Oh yeah, that's good. I haven't been to Starbucks in like two months, I think. I really hate, I really hate paper straws. Like, I understand the reasoning, but ugh, I don't like them. Because when these get wet, they get so flimsy. And I hate it. I know. I said I was gonna eat healthier and I am, but sometimes when you have a craving, you just have to go with it. Okay, time to go. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, good morning. I have two clients today. This week has been so busy. I've been booked and busy, which I love. Um, so before I go to my client's house, I have an hour before I have to be there. So I'm going to run to the dollar store. I'm going to go over to my clients. And then I have an hour before my next client. So I'm going to get Subway. I didn't eat anything for breakfast, so I'm just going to wait to eat Subway. So I'll see you guys when I get to the dollar store. Hey guys, so I just pulled into the dollar store. So I have about like 15 minutes until I want to make my way to my clients. So I'm just going to look around, see if I need anything. I know for sure I'm going to get an energy drink. I don't want to get too many things because I'm not trying to spend money like that, but if I need something, I'll grab it. I actually do need some dental floss. Because my, I have two, but I don't know where my second one is, and the other one is running out. It's 
pretty chilly in here. Now, if they had lavender pine salt, I would buy it, but they don't have any. I've been seeing people brave a boat ice rollers and I think I might need them. I almost forgot to take you guys in with me. So I just finished my first client for the day and I have half an hour until my next client. So I'm gonna get something to eat to put something in my system cause I'm kind of hungry. editing day here so this is the first time i came in here and the workers weren't wearing masks while making my food so i was kind of thrown off and i actually left um, no that's okay uh, i don't like that usually Usually the workers are wearing masks. Oh my day. I'm kind of hungry. Oh my god. I don't like people making my food these days. Kind of sucks because um this month I did plan to go to a friend's birthday dinner and at the same time I don't really want to go. But at the same time, I do, and I know you guys are probably like, Taya, get a grip. I'm gonna run into Sobeys and get a salad. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I got three hours at my client's house and I am getting kinda hungry. So I know I should eat something. This is why I need to start making my own lunches and bringing them. Like, what the fuck? How are you gonna beep at me when other cars are f***ing stupid? Oh my God, people piss me off. They really do. I'm just gonna run in here quickly. And you guys are probably like, yeah, Taya, people um, made the salads and you don't know if they're wearing a mask or not. And you're right. 
but like if I don't know what what I don't know won't kill me but like watching those people make my food at Subway without wearing a mask is kind of gross and they're like all up in the food breed I don't know it's just a whole then quickly eat oh my god what the f is that Oh, it's a nose piece. I was like, that was kind of scary. Oh my God. What a waste of time. I know I'm always complaining. I can't help it. I can't. Okay. I really don't want to go in there. I really don't. My car is a hot mess. Run in here quickly. I don't know if I'm gonna get fruit or a salad. We'll see. Whatever's cheaper. I'll use that bit. So I gotta sanitize my hands. I hate being in public. I really do. I am so excited for that, for the day where I can hire a personal assistant to go and run my errands for me. It's just like, I really, I know it's not mandatory for people to wear masks and stuff, but COVID is still going around. I haven't caught it, thankfully, and I really don't want to experience it. And the easiest way to catch it is at a restaurant and stuff, but I know I have to live my life. I really do. I can't be scared about all these germs and shit. Because, like, before COVID, I wasn't scared, but I don't know. Scratch that tan. My OCD. My OCD gets in the way. My anxiety gets in the freaking way. Oh, can you guys see that? So I got pineapples. And I got a Caesar salad. So I'm just going to eat this. It's okay if I'm late to my last client. He don't care. Ooh. And then for my Caesar salad, I got Renee's dressing. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like I want to go to the dinner at the end of the month, but then I don't. But then it's just like I need to live. I keep on repeating myself. I need to live my life. And missing out on like friends' birthdays and fun activities is just going to make me regret not going sometimes. But honestly, I'm just going to the dinner. She was like, we're going to go back to my house and have like a drink and probably play games. But it's just like, I got to work the next morning. She's having it on a Thursday night. So the dinner is at 7.30. So I'll probably be at the restaurant until like 9, 30, 10. And then I'm going to go home. I'm not going to go to the after party or whatever. I 
I'm excited to go so I can do my makeup. I haven't done my makeup in forever. And I'm going to try oysters for the first time in my life. I watch Aaliyah's face and she kills the oysters and she makes them look so good. The restaurant I'm going to they sell cooked oysters and raw and I'm going to try one of each to see how I like it. So that would be interesting. My paper towel is in my trunk. I should have grabbed a roll. Oh yeah. So I haven't vlogged for probably a week now and I'm finding it kind of tricky to balance work and vlogging but I know I did it last month I can do it again I really want to be consistent on here so my goal is to post at least two or three times a week starting next week because I really want to be successful. I've noticed. I need a napkin. I've noticed that, okay, this is gonna be a mukbang, so if my mouth is messy, okay. I've noticed that a lot of people can eat on YouTube. And by that, I mean a lot of people can make it on YouTube. A lot of people can be successful on YouTube. There's millions of people in this mother world. And a lot of these people do watch YouTube and I've noticed that a lot of YouTubers who I come across, they have hundreds of thousands, a million subscribers. So it's just like, there's no reason that I can't be one of those YouTubers who have a million subscribers. Like it's possible. And there are so many people with 100,000, 200,000 subscribers who I haven't even heard about. So that could be me. That could be me if I continue to be consistent on YouTube. Hard work, dedication, and consistency will pay off. So my phone cut off because it overheated. But like I was saying, I just need to be consistent. And I really want to thrive and succeed on this platform i've been watching youtube for so many years and i was always like oh my god i want to be i want to be like her i want to do that i want to try it and it's actually so fun So, my phone overheated again. So I just finished my salad and now I'm about to eat my pineapples. 
Mm. These ones are good. So. I'm kind of annoyed. Because my building. Remember how I told you guys like over a month ago my washer wasn't working. And my landlord told me they're waiting for a park to come in so last week i was like yeah so what's the update on the washer he's like oh it'll be it'll get fixed june 13th here it is what's the date Here it is, June 15th. Washer still ain't fixed. Now, I'm getting kind of tired going back and forth to my mom's to do laundry. It's been two weeks since I did laundry. But, like, it's just so inconvenient. Like, yes, I'm blessed. Yes, I'm blessed to have that option to do laundry at her house. But like, stay, stay, stay. I need to do laundry because I have like two loads to do and like, so I have a client tomorrow. Well, I have two clients tomorrow, but the first one is not until 1145. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to wake up mad early and then do my laundry and then right after my laundry i'll have like probably 30 minutes to spare until it's time to go to my clients i'm gonna be so tired tomorrow like i'm always tired but i'm gonna be exhausted by the end of the day editing um this video and then i decided that i wanted to close this video out showing you guys what i bought at the dollar store earlier so right there you can see my basket i brought it to the living room so i wouldn't forget tomorrow morning because i'm going to my mom's to do laundry it's only a small haul so i got cotton swabs I might have some in my closet. I can't remember if I still have some left or not. I've run out of these in a month. I gotta get my ears checked. <laughs> how do I run out of the how do I run through these in a month? Well probably a month and a half, but still. These should last like three months, but my ears, I gotta get them checked. And then I got my traditional floss. I do have the floss picks or the plackers, what some other people call them. But the this traditional floss changes the game. So I know this is like TMI, but I honestly am embarrassed to say this, but this year, I finally learned how to use traditional floss. Previously, I did not know how to use traditional floss. And then one day I was like, oh my God, let me go in the mirror and try to use this. And I learned how to do it by myself. Like my dentist did show me, but I could never catch on. Like, I don't understand. Like, I think I'm kind of slow. <laughs> I be slow sometimes, I swear. And I can admit that but thankfully i learned how to use this and this is tmi but my gums used to bleed when i used like the floss picks because i guess i wasn't getting like everything out but this gets everything out of your gums in between the teeth and my gums they're not sore anymore they don't bleed anymore if you guys are having a problem with 
bleeding gums and you don't use the traditional dental floss, I highly recommend this. <laughs> I'm not a dentist, but I'm just giving you guys some tips. And then Aaliyah, my cousin, put me onto this gum. You guys know that I usually love spearmint gum and I usually was buying the green pack of Trident, which was spearmint flavor. And then I seen her last weekend, last Saturday, and I was like, do you have gum? Cause I left my gum in the car. She's like, yeah. She hands me one of these and I'm like, oh, I said, what flavor is that? And then she showed me and it says fresh mint. This is by far better than spearmint better than peppermint i kind of feel like this is spearmint and peppermint together my new favorite gum thank you Aaliyah, for putting me on i love this so i got four packs one to my purse but it smells amazing and it tastes really good uh i did buy a pack of these probably probably like a couple weeks ago but I went to the dollar store and I was like let me pick up another pack because it's summer and I'm shaving more frequently yeah, the disposable razors I don't normally use them more than twice because like if you leave them accidentally in the shower you can see like rust building in the blade and that is so dangerous never shave with a rusty razor if you guys didn't know that now you know um just to say if you use a rusty razor or a razor with rust in it and you cut yourself baby go to the hospital go to the hospital because if that rust gets in your bloodstream um it's pretty poisonous and it can kill you so <sighs> I've never had that happen to me before, but that's the scariest thing ever. So if you're using a disposable razor, only use it once or twice, max. Also picked up a pair of tweezers because, because I'm a hairy ass girl and I get hair everywhere. I also seen this in the dollar store and I've never seen anything like this before in my life. So I seen this. And I was like, what is that? So it's a facial hair removal. <laughs> it's a facial hair remover. And I'm going to use this when I get a little bit more hair to work with. So basically, the facial hair remover rolls along the upper lip, which I get hair, cheeks and chin, which happens to me. So it removes the hair from the root quickly and easily. This was meant for me. <laughs> I need it. It's soft touch handle and compact size makes it perfect for discreet on the go touch ups. So basically you hold the handle and gently press the coil directly on hair to be removed. Glide coil in one direction only. And um, glide coil upwards in the opposite direction of hair growth. I could not pass that up. Um, this was four dollars. I've never seen anything like this before and it seems so cool and I really hope this works and does the job because I'm a hairy girl like I said and I just had to try it. I just have to try it. <laughs> so I'm very excited to use this and see if it works or not. So the girl's been talking about ice rolling. So I was kind of considering going on Amazon and finding an ice roller. And then I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of sounds crazy but like this was the last one there so did God or the universe put this on the shelf for me like 
I'm excited to use this as well because it says here um, it cools skin to reduce red and puffiness it increases blood circulation and you can apply it to temples and the jawline and when you apply it to your temples it naturally it naturally soothes headaches when I seen that it kind of sold me because I told you guys that I'm prone to headaches so the next time I have a headache I'm going to try this out to see if it works um you guys seen the clip at the dollar store where I got Bristol board one second okay so basically I think you guys know what I'm gonna do with I'm making a vision board I decided to go to my mailbox and I'm gonna collect um, flyers so I can cut out words I'm gonna cut out pictures letters and numbers and things like that. I want to manifest the things that I desire and that I deserve. I'm so excited to do my vision board. I have manifested so many things. You won't even believe me. So I'm going to have to do a separate video on that. And I have proof of the things that I manifested. Um, one thing that I, I'm going to share with you guys one thing. So I did manifest my car, but the thing is I didn't write, oh my God. But the thing is I didn't write that down, but I still manifested it. But I'm going to do a separate video on the other things that I did manifest. <sighs> Cause like literally looking back at it, I am mind blown. I am grateful for I am forever grateful like it's so surreal so with that being said thank you guys so much for tuning into my video I'll see you guys in a couple days